Hi everyone, it's Diane at the Pick a Fence Greenhouse and Gardens. Today we're looking at the hyacinth bean vine. Now I grew these in pots in the greenhouse early on just to kind of give people a show of what it will look like when it gets bigger. And I also collected some pods from them early on. And this has got to be one of the most unique vines. I just love it. I love the, the way they look. The flowers are just beautiful. And they're fragrant also. And we got a little hail damage on here is why some of these are really shredded. But the vine itself looks pretty healthy. They like sun. And it's crawling around here pretty good. I was going to see if I can find any pots. I don't see any on here. I do have pods that I took off of the vine in the greenhouse and we will be uh, breaking them open and looking at the the bean in a little bit. These are, they got such a pretty seed. They really do. And they're really liking this cooler weather right now the way it looks. They're just blooming really nice. After they get done blooming, hopefully they'll set on some pods yet, but we are get, we are in September. September 9th today, so I don't know if they'll have time to do that or not. So we'll just have to see. I got this seed from a gal in California. She sent me this seed and one of my Facebook friends. And that was it's something I've never planted before. So I'm, I'm just, I thought it was a really unique, beautiful vine. And right here is the buds. Right here, this one hasn't bloomed yet. So that is really, this is just really pretty. And I, I really love it for the color, the color of the foliage of the, of the leaves. Uh, purple veining is so pretty and it just really stands out. Look at the back side. Look at that. Neat, huh? Well, I wanted to give you another view of the hyacinth bean vine. Uh, it's October 1st now and it, it's blooming like crazy yet. We haven't had a hard frost. So it is going to town and I have to show you the bean pods. Check them out. Finally getting them and I don't know if it will produce seeds in time for me to collect some. You know, <laughs> we're going to probably get a frost. I think last year we got our really hard frost in the middle of October. Don't know what it's going to be like this year. But look at all the pods. Check them out. They're really growing and they're developing very little seeds right now. I did get some off early, early, the ones in the greenhouse, but I hope I can get some off of these guys too. But I just wanted to show you all the blooms. But there is an update, it's October 1st, and they're still producing some pretty nice blooms. Beautiful. I, it's aggressive, seems like an aggressive vine. But anyway, we're gonna get to the harvesting of the pods. I'm gonna, I'm hoping I get enough that I can share with a few of you, and I'll let you know if that becomes available. All right, here we have the hyacinth bean pods, all dried, and today we're gonna get these pulled out of the pods. And if you've never seen the hyacinth bean vine, uh, the seeds, they have to be one of the most attractive seeds there is and I'll show you why right here you see that white stripping and then the rest is all black and that it's just a very beautiful whoops a beautiful seed and I'm gonna have quite a few here the way it looks you see those okay but anyway I'm gonna go through I'm gonna get this all done today and then I'll show you what they look like at the end But as you can see, in here, they're very, very dry. One of my favorite plants now, or vines, I should say. It's just an annual vine in our area, but when you can save your seeds like this, you'll have them every year. So it's a good, it's a good practice. I have a, the Baha'i vine growing out. It's still October, it's October 3rd today, 2011, and there's hyacinth bean growing out, 
growing out in the garden yet. It still has got purple pods on it. So I don't know if they'll make it in time for frost, but I'm hoping they do. There's like three to four seeds per pod. So that's wonderful. And they all look really, really nice. Okay, there they are. Aren't those beautiful seeds? Check them out. Nice. Nice and dry, too. So I'll store these away in a cool, dry place. Um, probably even in a plastic plastic bag or a brown paper sack or some kind of container to keep them dry. And I'll put them in my basement.